Reading is the one fundamental skill you need to be successful in life, to reach your full potential. It also expands your universe beyond anything you could really imagine. Think about your life today and trying to surf through your life without being able to read. How could you even function? So reading will allow you to achieve your potential. It will allow you to experience so many different things. It will allow you to become a participant in a democracy and change the world in so many positive ways. My favorite book to read to or with my kids. Well, when you're a writer, it's not good enough to read a book to your kids. You have to come up with incredibly original stories on the fly. So when my kids were little and I would come back from a trip, they would say, Dad, okay, you read us this book. Now come up with something really cool and do it right now. So I would have to sit and sort of do this, and I expanded it into a series that I taped for my kids that I would leave for them when I was on the road so they could still have my stories read to them from the tape even though I wasn't there. The most, uh, the most historical event that I wouldn't want to witness, I wouldn't want to do more than witness. I wouldn't want to do something about it. I would go back to April 14th, 1865, and I would take the bullet for Lincoln because if you think about it, all the things that changed after that, instead of Abraham Lincoln and a reconciliation of the country, we had Andrew Johnson and reconstruction of the country that never really happened. It scored and scared and terrified our lives for the next 60 or 70, 80 years. In fact, we feel those ramifications to this day. So April 14th, 1865, Ford's Theater, Washington, D.C., I would be there. My favorite part about going behind the scenes at Smithsonian was all the things they don't have on display. They have so many artifacts out there they have no room for. So I saw a flagpole that was part of the flag that Cornwallis surrendered to George Washington at Yorktown. I saw suffragette banners from 1913. I saw a box that contained Old Glory, a very famous flag. So in talking with the, the preservationists and the curators there about how they go about doing their jobs, which is so meticulous and precise, and how they would spend three or four years of their life on one project. For me that was fascinating. It was just sort of a testament to how much they cared about their work. The next story is on my mind. The next story is always on my mind. Whatever corner I'm about to turn, whoever I'm about to meet, a piece of conversation I'm about to overhear could be the catalyst for the next story that I'm going to write and the next story hopefully that so many of you will read.